ऑनरेबल चांसलर श्री एस बी मुजुमदार सर एमिनेंट साइंटिस्ट एंड उज व्यूज आर एब्सोल्यूटली ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द एस्टीम्ड डॉक्टर रघुनाथ माशेलकर जी डॉक्टर एनहोल्ड प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर रजनी गुप्ते डॉक्टर पंकज मित्तल डॉक्टर विद्या येरवडेकर ऑल द यूनिवर्सिटी लीडर्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द ग्लोब एंड माय सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स फ्रॉम ऑल पार्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड इट इज इंडीड a great moment for me to be part of this valedictory function of unit 20 with a theme future of universities just look at my position amongst all doctors i was the only patient patient in a sense i was waiting for my turn to speak <laughs> patience always pays and that is why i could hear the views of dr marshalkar which are really enlightening and uh, you know i am at loss of words with such eminent people on the ds with global university leaders amongst the audience i do not know how to and what to speak about the future of universities but let me tell you i represent a fraternity which can tell sachin tendulkar how to play cricket <laughs> or messi how to score a goal <laughs> or rafa nadal how should he how he should use his for forehand so i think uh, if you ask me describe the future of universities in one word i would say symbiosis international university that is the future of university i think uh, when we talk about education the indian ethos have always been about holistic development of a person it was never about a informed individual it was about a knowledgeable individual a person who possesses knowledge and uh, i would like to quote swami vivekanand who said education is not the amount of information that is put into your brain and runs right there undigested all your life we must have life building man making character making assimilation of ideas i think this is what is perfectly and precisely we need to do through our education system and yes there are so many challenges in a country like india where today we are expanding the education making it reach to all and our challenge today is today our gross enrollment ratio is around 23 24% and by 2035 we want to make it 50% so this is pole vaulting sir which we would be trying to do and i'm sure even today with a uh, around 38 million students 
in 50000 academic institutions which include around 1057 universities india is world's second largest higher education system and uh, i think uh, just second to china but every fourth graduate student globally is a indian and i think we take pride today because when we started after our independence in the first election when people started voting actually the amount of people who were educated or just used to know how to write and read was 18% and from there in last 75 years we have reached now at a stage where we are the largest education system in the world and uh, now around 23 Indian universities are amongst first 200 universities of world hopefully soon these 23 will be also amongst first 100 universities of world the way we are progressing and the way we are focusing on quality of education i think uh, that would really transform uh, the entire education space of late india is also amongst top 10 countries who are actually investing in innovation there was there used to have there used to be always a talk that India is a country which actually doesn't invest in innovation, but that is not a case now. And as rightly said by Dr. Mashelkar, the IT, the Indian talent, is now leapfrogging or pole vaulting in the space or arena of. Uh, innovation as well and now with uh, the new education policy i think this new education policy of 2020 is something which is making indian education future ready i think it has opened doors for all the best practices it has opened doors for the world to come to partner and it has also given opportunity to the Indian universities to partner with the global universities to provide best of the education to, uh, to the students and also to create global citizens with values, ethos. And I think when we talk of university education of course it has to be value based as rightly said earlier it has to be value based because without value the education is of no use i think uh, g20 or uni20 is also an excellent platform where lot of collaborations can happen when all the global university leaders are here and when they interact, I think with this interaction, a lot of best practices are exchanged and new ideas would come which can be carried to their respected universities. So I think uh, this event will be a transformative event in the history of G20 countries, especially the G20 universities. In India, while focusing on the higher education, 
there were three pillars expansion inclusion and excellence it was for access equity employability and quality and i think uh, right now the inclusiveness of indian education system is very good we have devised many ways to include all the vulnerables or all those who aspire to take university education and i think this inclusion is something which is bridging a divide in the society but i think now is the time where we focus more on excellence we focus more on employability because we all know that in 20th 20th century the biggest challenge was exploitation people were exploited there was a fight against exploitation but the biggest challenge in 21st century is to stay relevant the times are changing with such pace that what was good yesterday is obsolete today and that is the biggest challenge before our education system to stay relevant the disruptive technologies are changing the world in one single day and today the mantra is learn unlearn and relearn unless we adopt this mantra we won't be able to cope up with this change i think in india our last education policy was drafted in 1983 and it was good enough for 30 years then we started feeling that we need to change it but today every 5 years things are changing in such a way that they are making all the things which we used to study obsolete there will be a, a different situation in 2025 another situation in 2030 and absolute different situation in 2035 so i think the biggest challenge before our universities is to be future ready and uh, when we talk about future ready the technology is changing lives of people and uh, technology is a force multiplier technology is a leveler technology is something which actually doesn't recognize whether you are man or woman whether you belong to a caste color or creed or to any religion it serves everybody but that technology has posed lot of challenges and i think the solution to those challenges will also come from technology as rightly said by dr mashelkar that if the entire thesis is created on chat gpt what to do but again few days back i was going through a article where it was about one startup and they have come out with a solution where their engine can actually point out whether any answer any thesis is out of plagiarism whether it is taken from somewhere whether it is a borrowed thought so i think technology is changing both ways now is a time where we need to use that technology to make our lives better and i think when we talk of indian aspiration of going from 23% to 50% ger in 12 years 
how are we going to do that it is only technology which will enable us to do that because in the covid we have experienced that even online education can serve those who have never imagined that they will ever be able to do things online minds are changing the new generation is born and brought up with technology and i think today when we see a lot of platforms who are giving online education there are startups where 24 by 7 a teacher is available and you don't have to ask google or chat gpt you can in person interact with the with the teacher when you are registered and the teacher 24 by 7 replies you and gives you you know reply to your query then i think this is something which is changing the way education used to be but having said that people feel that would universities be required would everything become online i think uh, that's not the case because ultimately we are social animal we require people with us we require friends we require people to study with and i think when people come together ideas are born and that is why universities are the platforms where the ideas are born where people interact with each other with their minds interact with each other and come up with life changing solutions i think if we embrace the technology in proper way we will be able to cope up with the challenges put forth by the technology now data science is something which is changing the lives of people we all have been hearing that data is new oil and data has surpassed oil in its real value and that's a real case i mean i was hearing a talk of uh, you all know harari and i was also frightened when he said that tomorrow minds of people can also be hacked until today we could hack the machines but he said there will be a time or the time has already come where the machines will understand humans better than the human understands because we are spending so much time on different platforms that those platforms are actually with our data they are able to predict what are our habits what we like what we dislike how are we going to believe behave and i think that is a way through which minds of people can also be hacked so i think when we say that this is interesting time this is also challenging time but i am sure that humanity and the human minds have stood tall in every challenge and i think universities are the places where challenges are accepted and solutions are offered today our universities have become startup hubs so many new startups are actually being uh, posted in various universities recently iit mumbai iit bombay we had interaction two days back with them and we are starting a drone center with iit bombay and it would be one of its kind where uh, everything will be centrally monitored today you have different pilots 
using different drones but what we are really going to do is there will be a central uh, depot and depot in every district and through central command and control system all the drones will be controlled and in the different field like in the field of agriculture where you require to monitor the life cycle of a crop or at times you require to have spraying for pest control all this can be done with a automation from one single command and control system and i think the technology the 5g augmented reality virtual reality all these things have changed the way we used to do our business so i'm sure that with all our interaction in unit 20 our universities will make us future ready our universities will find out solutions for sustainability because today i think in our entire education system we actually now have realized that sustainability should also be part of our education system and i think with the change in this mindset our universities globally will create a place where brightest mind will find solutions for making this world a better place for making this world one family with one future thank you jai hind jai maharashtra